Little things can add up sometimes and make a much bigger impact, but one Connecticut woman's organizational skills actually changed how companies around the world do business. Loretta Tice is now 92 years young. She's here for this week's Mommy Monday to tell us all about the changes that she's made. Thank you so much for being here. It's a pleasure. We're so happy to have you. And you do not look 92. Thanks. You look great. <laughs> First of all, I want to hear all about your life. So just give us a brief synopsis. Where, where are you from? You're living in Farmington now, right? That's correct. I was born in the Midwest. Yep. Uh, lived there for many years with my husband and two children. And I worked for uh, lawyers all my life, practically. Uh, what do you want to know about me? Well, I mean, you sound like you're a, trail, you're a trailblazer. So how, how did you come up with this organizational uh, development? I don't know. I just did. I found a way to organize records yep. in a way that they could be retrieved. Uh, and I had a, se a couple of successful records management projects under my belt. Mm -hmm. So when uh, I worked for Emhart Corporation in the 1980s, uh, we had uh, my company had decided to close one of our Basta chemical headquarters in Lausanne, Switzerland. And since I had a couple of, uh, of uh, successful uh, projects under my belt, I was asked to uh, go to Switzerland. I had never been out of the country. I was, <laughs> it was different. And I didn't know that they spoke four languages in Switzerland. Oh, mm -hmm. my gosh. And uh, I, it was a daunting task. When I walked in, I thought it would just be a few uh, offices with records. Well, it was 28 rooms. 20 years worth of records, 2 million documents, and I was there alone. I wasn't met with exactly um, friendly faces. No? <laughs> Did you whip them was, into shape? I tried, yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, because I was a woman, first time that mm -hmm. they sent a woman over to do that alone. Mm -hmm. I was from corporate. They didn't like that. You know? <laughs> and I was there to close down their business. Oh, my gosh. Uh, but I won them over. I hired a multilingual uh, staff of 12 secretaries to, uh, to um, look at all the documents and, uh, and catalog them. And I spent two weeks there in June of 1980. And I found June 25th, I was there alone on my 25th wedding anniversary. June oh, no. 25th. Yeah, so my husband made up for it. When I got home, we planned a cruise. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> but then I went back in August, and in August, my daughter, my only daughter, was being married, so I planned a wedding. But I was there for two weeks to continue the project. And then in September, I went back and uh, arranged for the shipment of all those documents to four countries. To, Talk uh, about somebody who can multitask. <laughs> I had to. <laughs> it was a busy year. I guess so. But then from there, I was sent to Zurich a couple of those six more times for other projects. And uh, I had a good career. Never expected to be traveling like that. <laughs> it sounds uh, like it. Can you tell us a little bit about, like, uh, you know, how you discovered to, to make these, to make everything so organized? Like, what was the... I have kind of a secret way to organize Got things. it, got it. You're gonna... By you're identifying, because, gonna... you know, three three floors of uh, offices, I, had, I uh, labeled all the offices. I can't go into the details. I it's lecture, top I, secret. <laughs> <laughs> actually, you know, I was asked to lecture at Central Connecticut and other organizations uh, about my project mm -hmm. that I had done there. But it led to other projects, uh, and I. Oh, yeah. I'm sure. Yeah, it was great. So and my husband supported me all the way. That's that one. Was, well, as he should, right? Right. And yeah. I'm sure you did the same for him. I did. Yeah, <laughs> uh, two children. Yes, I have a boy and a girl. Yep, and, and um, four grandchildren. And now you, we just mentioned that you, you're in Farmington now. Mm -hmm. How you, how are you liking Connecticut life? I'm loving it. I yeah. organized the library there, because of 1,200 books. And I, I just have a, a yen so, for organiz, organizing. I, I was going to say, you, you, so you're still keeping busy, right? Oh, yeah. I manage the store. We have a resident store mm -hmm. that's open three days a week, but I work in there about five days a week. And I'm secretary of our uh, resident council. I started out as a secretary in amanuensis in 19... 50s. Mm -hmm. And here I am ending my life as an amanuensis. I'm still taking <laughs> dictation and well, enjoying it. I have you, a good life. You're, you keep yourself, I'm um, sure, very, very busy, which I'm sure keeps you very, very young, right? Try. Well, you're remarkable. Well, thank you. That is great. Yeah. What a, what a wonder, wonderful story. I mean, breaking down barriers and, you know, now what you've discovered is something that is changing business worldwide. It's pretty cool. And you know, in, the, in those days, uh, the, everything was paper. We didn't have cell phones or computers. Or computers. Yep. No, everything was typewriter. Yeah, 550 mm -hmm. pages of inventory. 
that I had to sort through, but it was good. And you balanced everything. I don't mm -hmm. know if balance is the right word, but you did it all. <laughs> You're remarkable, Loretta. Thank you so much for being here and sharing your story. My distinct pleasure. Come back anytime. Thank you, Kylie. We appreciate it. All right.